a radio receptor is often disrupted by 1 kHz noise. Here we want to design a filter to lower the noise level by at least 70% and amplify the low frequency signals and high frequency signals by at least 8 times. Let's look at the subsystem design procedures suggested in our tutorial. Firstly, we need to translate the problem statement to design specification, then choose prototype circuit. In the de when we design the prototype circuit, we need to specify all the component values in the circuit. Then we need to analyze the circuit theoretically, see if the design specification is met. The last part, we need to build the circuit and test it. Firstly, let's translate the problem statement into design specification. So the noise is at 1 kHz. We want to lower the noise. And at the same time, we want to amplify the low frequency signals and high frequency signals. So this apparently should be a band reject filter. So we want to design a band reject filter. It should be an active band reject filter because we need to amplify the circuit by at the signal by at least eight times. So the central frequency should be at one kilohertz. In the problem statement, it says that we want to amplify the low frequency and the high frequency signal by at least eight times. Let's make the pass band gain equivalent to 10. So when the frequency is lower than 200 hertz, and when the frequency is greater than 2 kilohertz, we want to make the gain of the circuit at least Eight. So let's look at the cutoff frequencies and pass band. We know the maximum gain of the circuit is 10. So the cutoff frequency is defined as at the cutoff frequency, the magnitude of the transfer function is 1 over square root of 2 times the maximum ma magnitude. That is 1 over square root of 2 times 10 should be 7.07, .07, so it's around 7. So the cutoff frequency at the two cutoff frequencies, the magnitude of the transfer function is around 7. From our analysis, we can see that the pass band is defined as the two cutoff frequency difference. So that should be less than 2 kilohertz. The quality factor Q is defined as central frequency over bandwidth, so frequency is 1 kilohertz, beta is less than 2 kilohertz. That means quality factor Q should be greater than 1 over 2. So Q is greater than 1 over 2. So in that case, it should be a high Q band reject filter because the quality factor is greater than half. So we want to design a high-Q band reject filter. Let's make beta as 500 hertz. It's a narrow band band reject filter. So here is our design specification. We want to design a high-Q band reject filter. The central frequency should be 1 kilohertz. Pass band gain is 10. And also for the frequency at 200 hertz, the gain should be at least 8. And when the frequency is 2 kilohertz or greater than 2 kilohertz, the passband gain should be at least 8. So at 1 kilohertz, the gain of the circuit should be at most 0 0.3. So for the high Q band reject filter introduced in our textbook, we have analyzed that theoretically in our textbook. So here is the transfer function. That means the maximum gain of the circuit is 1. If we want to use this high-Q band reject filter, we need to 
provide a passband gain of 10. So that means we can add another stage, which is an inverting amplifier. It has just two components, RF and RI. So we need to make RF over RI equal to 10. In that case, when we cascaded the two stages, the passband gain could be 10. So let's work on the first stage, the high-Q band reject filter. The central frequency is 1 kHz. So central frequency in reading per second should be 2 pi times 1 k. So from the transfer function, we can see omic 0 square is 1 over r square c square. We can derive that resistance should be 1 over omic 0 over c. We can pick up a standard capacitance, 0.1 microfarad. That is a standard capacitor value. So resistance should be 1 over omic 0 times c. Omic 0 is 2 pi 1000. Capacitance is 0.1 microfarad. So we got 1.59 kilo. We can choose 1.6 kilo ohm standard resistor. There are three parameters in the circuit we need to specify, R, C, sigma. So sigma can be calculated based on this equation, 1 minus 1 over 4Q. Q is the quality factor. Quality factor Q is defined as central frequency over bandwidth. So central frequency should be 1000 hertz, or 2 pi times 1000 reading per second. So beta here, like we mentioned, we want to make it at 500 hertz. So here, the quality factor is 2. So we substitute Q into that equation. Sigma should be 1 minus 1 over 4Q. 4 times 2. Here should be 2. So here we can calculate sigma should be 0 0.875. In the second stage, we need to specify RF and RI. So RF over RI should be equal to 10. So we can pick up 10 kilo resistors and 1 kilo resistor. RF is a 1 kilo, 10 kilo resistor. RI is a 1 kilo resistor. Now we can specify, we have specified all the parameter values in the circuit. Capacitance should be 0.1 microfarad. In the design here is 2C, so it should be 2 times 0.1, so it's 0.2 microfarad. R is 1.6 kilo. Ohm. R over 2 should be 1.6 over 2, that is 800 ohm. So 1 minus sigma times R should be, sigma is 0.875, R is 1.6 kilo ohm, so here should be 200 ohm. Sigma times R is 1.4 kilo ohm. For the second stage, feedback resistance is 10 kilo ohm, input resistance is 1 k. So we need to connect the two stages, common ground, are connected together. Here is also common ground. I will skip the step that analyze the design circuit to meet the design specification. Theoretically, we can derive the transfer function and show that it meets the design specification. The passband gain should be 10 because RF over RI is 10. So let's build the circuit and check with the design specification. After we build the circuit, let's check with when the input is at 200 Hz. The gain of the circuit should be at least 8. 
So here we adjust the output to be 200 hertz. So the output voltage is 9.1, input voltage is 1.02. So the gain of the circuit is output over input, 9.1 over 1.02. Apparently that is greater than 8. So it meets the design specification. The second part we need to adjust the frequency of the input to be 2 kilohertz. Let's check the input and output voltages. So output voltage is 8.6 volts. Input voltage is 970 millivolts. 970 millivolts converted to voltage, that is 0.97 volts. So that's also greater than 8. The last part, we need to check the central frequency. The gain should be less than 0.3. So the output voltage is from the second channel that is 0.147 volts. The input is 0.98 volts. So at the central frequency 1 kilohertz, the gain of the circuit should be 0.147 over 0.98. Both of the input and output are peak-to-peak -peak values. So that is less than 0.3. So we have just checked that the designed circuit meet the design specification. So here is the circuit we tested. So we have shown that it does meet the design specification.